Hi there, I'm Connor Bell, the principal bassoonist of the Owensboro Symphony Orchestra, uh, a group I've been playing with for about four years now. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about today about my favorite instrument, which happily enough is the instrument that I play. This is the bassoon. The bassoon is the bass voice of the woodwind section. It's actually uh, why it's called bassoon. It comes from the word for bass, meaning low, because we play really low. And it uh, fit in, fits in with all the other woodwinds, and one of the most fun things about it is you get to play a lot of different roles in the orchestra. So we play a lot of low bass lines with all the other low instruments. We also play pretty stuff in the middle with some of the other middle instruments. And we can also get up really high and play some cool stuff up there. In fact, out of all of the winds, uh, we have the largest range, with the possible exception of the horns, but we don't let them play very much anyway. So, we're the best. And I'm going to show you some of the different parts of the bassoon, and then I'm going to play some stuff for you. Oops, my bassoon fell apart. I'm going to walk you through all the different parts of it. In fact, the bassoon probably has more pieces that we have to put together and take apart than anyone else in the orchestra. That's why the bassoons are always the last people to leave the stage, because it takes us forever to remember how to take these things apart. I start with this. This is called the boot joint. It's down at the bottom of the bassoon, and actually the whole thing gets so heavy, I can't hold it up by myself. I have to sit on one of these. It's called a seat strap, and it holds the bassoon up for me. So I have to do less work, which makes me happy. Then I have a wing joint that fits into one of the holes in the boot joint. Still doesn't look right. Let's add another tube. In fact, the bassoon would be so long if it wasn't folded in half. This piece down here, that boot, has two holes in it, and it makes it so the instrument doesn't have to be 12 feet long. Very helpful. And there's another piece. This is called the bell. Not because I'm Connor Bell. Sadly, they didn't name it after me. Actually, not sure why they call it the bell. I should learn that or they might not give me my doctorate. Next, we have this. It's called a vocal. It's not a pipe. It goes in over here. Still doesn't make any noise. To make noise on the bassoon, we need this. The bane of our existence. It's called the reed. It's a double reed, actually, because it's two reeds stuck together with wire that I have to make all of them myself. And most of them don't turn out very well, and they make me sad, and then I have to smash them and make more. But when I do, it starts to let me play pretty things. <laughs> Now I showed you how the bassoon works, now I'm going to play a little bit for you. As I mentioned in the other video, one of the things that makes the bassoon so much fun to play in the orchestra is that we get to do lots of different things. It helps keep us interested. Sometimes we play lots of low stuff down with the cellos and the basses. Sometimes we play stuff in the middle, sometimes we play up high. The bassoon has <coughs> a huge range. Here's all of our notes. All the way up to a high G. So we go from B flat way underneath the bass staff to a G all the way above the treble staff. It's a lot of fingerings for me to remember. Sometimes I do. And so sometimes we play low stuff and we get to be all grumpy. Like this is 
um, from Peter and the Wolf, you might have heard. And it's like the grandfather uh, telling his grandson that he needs to behave. He knows what's good for him. <laughs> Another really famous bassoon solo starts off and gets to hear the very highest stuff we can do. Bassoonists came up with words to that to describe how uncomfortably high it is. We say, I am not an English horn. The next note up, the next instrument up in the pantheon that it could have been played much more easily by. So that's our highs and our lows. We spend a lot of time, though, just playing beautiful, fun things in the middle. Soon is known best for is bouncing along and being the jokester of the orchestra with lots of staccato things like this familiar thing from the Sources Apprentice. <laughs> Sources Apprentice. 